Iris had always been a free spirit. She was a seeker of harmony, a seeker of tranquility. And she was this in every aspect of her life. She had a deep understanding that peace wasn't just absence of conflict. It was a state of mind, a way of being. And so, Irish chose peace, knowing it would come with its fair share of goodbyes. From a very young age, Iris felt a profound connection to nature. She would spend hours upon hours wandering through forests, wandering through meadows and along the shores of shimmering lakes. The serenity that she found in these natural spaces brought her a sense of inner peace that she cherished deeply. As Iris grew older, her love for nature led her to become an environmental activist. She fought tirelessly for the preservation of forests, the protection of endangered species, and the promotion of sustainable practices. She dedicated her life to raising awareness and inspiring others to take action. She believed that a harmonious relationship with the Earth was essential for humanity's well-being. However, Iris soon realized that her pursuit of peace would require sacrifices. She had to say goodbye to the comfort of a conventional lifestyle and embrace a path less traveled. Iris left behind her career in the corporate world and bid farewell to the materialistic desires that once consumed her. She chose simplicity. She chose minimalism. She chose to live a life focused on meaningful connections. With each goodbye, Iris shed the weight of societal expectations. She shed the weight of the need for external validation and the constant busyness that often overshadowed the pursuit of inner peace. She discovered that true fulfillment lay in embracing a slower pace of life, nurturing relationships, and cultivating a deep connection. Iris's journey took her to remote corners of the world. She lived in small villages nestled among majestic mountains where she learned the wisdom of ancient cultures. She volunteered in conservation projects working alongside locals to protect fragile ecosystems. Through her experiences, she witnessed both the resilience of nature and the devastating consequences of human ignorance. Goodbyes. Goodbyes became a constant companion in Iris's life. She bid farewell to friends she made in distant lands, to sunsets that painted the skies in hues of gold, and to the fleeting moments of the joy that just passed well, all too quickly. Yet, with each goodbye, she gained a deeper appreciation for the impermanence of life and the value of living fully in the present. You see, Iris's journey wasn't always easy, no. She faced challenges. She faced loneliness and moments of doubt. But through it all, she held on to her unwavering commitment to peace. She knew that her choices and actions, no matter how small, contributed to a collective ripple of change that could create a more peaceful world. Over time, Iris's influence began to spread. Her message of peace, both internal and external, but it resonated with people from all walks of life. Iris became a source of inspiration, a guiding light for those seeking solace in a chaotic world. Through her writings and public speaking engagements, Iris encouraged others to choose peace, even in the face of adversity. As the years passed, Iris realized that the true essence of peace was not found in isolation, but in inner connectedness. You see, she began to understand that her path had never been one of detachment, no. Rather, it was one of compassionate engagement. She formed deep bonds with fellow activists. She nurtured friendships with kindred spirits 
and celebrated the beauty of diversity. Iris's journey, marked by countless goodbyes, ultimately brought her a profound sense of fulfillment. She had chosen peace, and in doing so, had found the life of purpose, had found the life of connection, and unyielding joy. Her legacy lived on, not only through the positive impact she had on the world, but also through the countless individuals she inspired to embark on their own journeys towards peace. And so, Iris's story reminds us that when we choose peace, it may come with goodbyes, but it also comes with a multitude of hellos. With each goodbye, Iris opened herself up to new beginnings, new connections, and new adventures. She discovered that the act of saying goodbye was not a permanent farewell, but rather a stepping stone towards growth and evolution. Always remember that when you choose peace, it inevitably comes with a lot of goodbyes. But that's all right. If you've enjoyed this story, please consider sharing it with a friend and giving it a like. And of course, subscribing for more. And if you have any ideas for stories, let me know. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening.